Greetings, this is Dave Dickinson here from MasterGuys.com, and you are here because you want to know what's a blue moon, what's all this talk you're going to hear about a blue moon. I mean, right now it's Monday, the last Monday of December in 2009, but there is, by some conventions, by some people's terminology, there is a blue moon on 31st of December, and guess what? There's actually a lunar eclipse as well, very shallow lunar eclipse. This is going to be like a 6% partial, the moon's just going to kind of Kind of, kind of graze the umbra just a little tiny bit, so you're only you're and you're only going to see it from uh, New England, the Maritimes, and on eastward of that. So if you live anywhere east of that, anywhere east in the time zone, the night of December 31st, Thursday night, you're going to see a very partial eclipse. The moon will look like it maybe has got a little Pac-Man type flight out of it. So don't expect a, a really as eclipses go, this isn't really a stellar one, but it's rare. It's rare that we have one during a blue moon. I mean, uh, the last time we had an eclipse during a blue moon was in uh, 1999, and we're not going to have another one until 2018. Now, what's a blue moon? Is the moon going to look blue? Is it anything to do with blue cheese? Well, you know, not really. Uh, you're not going to see anything any different than any other full moon. So, it's like, why do we call it a blue moon? Uh, it just, the current convention, here's where the state of affairs lies. Current convention says that if you have two full moons in one month, which can happen in any month, uh, excepting for February, which is shorter than the synodic month, of the, which means the lunar cycle, you can't fit two blue moons, one on the 1st and one even on the 29th, so there's a leap here. But you can fit it on a 30-day month, and you can fit it on a 31-day month. So in December, we had a blue, we had a full moon, uh, winter's moon on December 2nd, so we're having another full moon on the 31st. Moon won't appear blue. You can see the moon is blue um, under very rare atmospheric conditions. Uh, I have nothing to do with the moon being full. Of course, you get more illumination, so maybe it's more likely to see. There's a lot of sulfur in the air. There's volcanic ash. There's been a forest fire. You know, once in a while, I've never seen it, and I look at the moon whenever it's clear. Uh, but you can see what's known as a blue moon. Now, the current convention, now here's where it gets a little weird. Bear with me on this. I'm doing this without notes. This is the first time I've done the kind of talking head bit that we're doing here for AstroGuys.com. So we'll do a little more production and maybe get, you know, some fancy graphics and get all that stuff in here. Bear with me on this. Current convention, you need to tell your friends, you have two full moons in one month is a blue moon. That convention came about because of an error. Now, Sky and Telescope did a research article on this back in 1999, May 1999, I believe was the issue, that during the 30s, I believe it was, a Sky and Telescope article misinterpreted uh, the main farmer's almanac, and this two, and two full moons in one month uh, convention came into our vernacular been promoted on Star Day, it's been promoted on different radio shows, so it's kind of in our terminology. Now, looking back at the main Farmer's Almanac, however, something curious uh, comes up, where you see full moons that weren't on, that were considered blue by that terminology, that had, that weren't two in one month, and what it came about is they have actually more convoluted terminology when they're saying farm, or in the main Farmer's Almanac. If there were four moons between, full moons, between the vernal equinox and, say, the solstice, or the solstice and the equinox, any solstice and equinox, equinox period, if there were two full moons, four full moons that fell in that period, then the third full moon would be considered blue. Hence, since we just passed the winter solstice, this full moon coming up is not actually a blue moon under the old uh, orthodoxy. However, there is a blue moon next year between the summer solstice and the autumnal equinox. There are four full moons. If you have the full moon falling right within a day or two after the, the solstice or the equinox, you can squeeze in four full moons. There's a third one, I believe, next August of next year. I'd have to look it up. You can tell I'm doing this uh, show without notes. That is blue under the old convention. Confusing? Yes. However, it's a good excuse to drink a Blue Moon beer and promote Blue Moon beer uh, as a result. And 
if you live anywhere over in Europe or Asia, the cool thing is this blue moon eclipse that happens about once every decade, and it's even rarer than a blue moon, uh, will be visible right about at New Year's Eve. Kind of a cool thing to look up as you're partying, saying, hey, you know, just bring in this year with a very shallow, shallow partial eclipse of the moon. And also, we kind of wonder where that terminology might have come from. You know, exactly why, um, where is the mythical, like, fear of blue moon you hear in, like, different, that it's unlucky, you know. Well, way back when, there used to be something similar in the medieval times called the betrayer moon. Now, the betrayer moon fell between, uh, like, when they had Lent and Easter. And they used the full moon to predict the uh, the cycle of Lent and Easter. Sometimes the cycle would allow for an extra full moon coming in before that, and you know it would kind of betray people into thinking that Easter had started early when it didn't. That became known as the Betrayer Moon under the medieval times, um, where the um, idea of uh, of unlucky or evil blue moon came from, how blue got tied in there. Who knows? Uh, there have been a few volcanic eruptions around the world. Um, in the last few weeks, uh, mine volcano, uh, is about to blow, uh, it's about to, be, to blow in the Philippines. And there's also one in Siberia. If they do, wouldn't it be cool to have an actual blue moon on the blue moon during partial lunar eclipse? Now, how rare would that be? But again, being blue doesn't necessarily have to do with being a second full moon of the cycle. Just something kind of fun. Thought I'd put a little bit of the history in there. So that's it for our first little video talking head bit is afterguys.com. Um, don't forget, the universe is out there and the sky is waiting. <laughs>